Yeah, okay. So I guess that's uh, is that me, Charlie, up first? <clears throat> yes, yes, please, mate. Cool, yeah. Well, again, thanks. Thanks for having me again. I do I do enjoy doing these with yourself and Mac. Um, so, yeah, so <clears throat> I'm obviously I'm working in cybersecurity, um, but AI is in technology, and I'm quite interested just on a personal and professional level. Um, but I'm also looking at this as an organisation of, like, are there tools that can make my company better, more efficient, go faster as well and with the added challenge of being a cyber security company we have to be even more vigilant because we have to be really really careful uh, about sort of, uh, the data we hold and what we do because if we get caught out it's not uh, it's not good press um so one of the tools that i come across in my travels is called otter.ai now microsoft are going to come out with a suite of of their own tools co-pilot but they keep pushing the date back so in the short term some of the smaller sort of players or growing smaller players are sort of stepping into that um that field and doing what a doing what microsoft say they will do whenever they do come out so i don't know about you but i've always had a challenge in in meetings right meetings can be really good um productive um endeavors or they can be quite expensive unproductive endeavors right you can have meetings where there are loads of people that turn up and maybe they shouldn't really be there and they're not really adding anything or a meeting where the right people turn up but at the end of the meeting nothing's agreed nobody knows really what they're doing and, and in both situations it, it can make the meeting quite inefficient so enter otter.ai so what otter.ai is is a is an AI tool, uh, the Otter Pilot, it joins your meeting, it joins your team meeting. I'll, I will touch on the security and privacy concerns here um, at the end, and we'll talk about this more in the, uh, in this, in the third webinar. Um, but, you know, we need innovation, and that's what they're trying to do. So otter.ai, the Otter Copilot, will join your <coughs> Teams, your Google, it will join your online meeting. It will sit in that meeting quietly, and it will record the meeting. Um, it'll record the audio and it will transcribe the audio, which, you know, this is this has been existed before. But one of the cool features that it has is once it has transcribed the audio, it sets about reading the audio and coming up with actions, summaries, key points in the meeting. So rather than having someone taking notes in the meeting or if, if there's never anybody who takes notes in the meeting, you've got an entity in that meeting that is making those notes and say, Neil, you're responsible for this. Charlie, you're responsible for that. Mark agreed he was going to do this. An actual quantifiable piece of, of uh, data that says these are the actions that were made. If somebody wasn't able to join the meeting, they can actually go into the Otter transcript and even talk to Otter and say, was I mentioned in the meeting? Is there anything for me to do? So it's quite, a, quite powerful in that way. If you go to the next slide, please, Mark. So, the dashboard, this is, a, this is my example of a potato. So I had a, I had a conversation with myself about a potato. I've not gone mad. I just wanted to test it out. So the left-hand side, you've got the top transcript, just three minutes of me just randomly talking, to be honest. Um, it captures the speakers who spoke in the meeting. Now, we, we tested this out, actually, on one, one not important meeting in our company, and it made me realise that I talked too much. It was a great uh, self-reflection exercise, um, so I need to be a bit more concise in, in what I say. But it captures the, the, the text on the left-hand side, and then if you look at the middle column, you can see that I asked it some questions. I said, what were the action items? Um, it got the, uh, I said Hedwig, Hedwig, not Hedro, but it said, Hedro will work on frying the potatoes, Claude will work on baking them, and Barbara's gonna look out and market it. Again, it's a bit silly, but the point there is, if we, if we were talking about real items, real things, it would capture those, um, those things. I asked if people were mentioned, it told me, that Claude was, but Peter wasn't, and it summarized the meeting. Plus, there's, there's lots of other things that you can do. It plugs into your Outlook or whatever calendar you're using. And if you look on the right, you can see it can join. That's my calendar for today, um, or this week even. And it can join different meetings if you allow it to. So I feel it's a really powerful tool. It, it can do a lot. Um, Microsoft are gonna come out with something at some point with Copilot that does something similar. So there's a lot of benefits there. Now, the downside 
with your orbit finger is it's recording everything you're doing, it's transcribing everything you're doing. So we've got security and privacy concerns there, you know, about if this data um, went walkabout, if the account was compromised, some suddenly someone can log in there and see all the transcripts and information that you have discussed. So I'm trying to give a balance there saying, some companies might decide to use it in certain meetings and not others. Maybe clients don't feel too comfortable being recorded. Um, so there's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of conversations to have and discussions, but it's here. And you, I wouldn't be surprised if you find yourself in meetings in the next few years where someone says, do you mind if we bring our autopilot or whatever tool they're using into the meeting? Uh, and as I say, if you could find a way to use it in your business in a risk balanced way, then it might be able to uh, really add some value to what you're doing and, and you know, help with those really, uh, um, help with those meetings, you know, becoming more, more valuable. Um, so that's, yeah, that's also .ai. Um, of course, I think, the next one. Oh, sorry, I, think the surprising th I think the surprising thing for that, Neil, though, is, is the accuracy of it as well, isn't it? It's, you know, in terms of the context of conversation and, and, and action points and everything else, I think my accent as well yeah definitely <laughs> <laughs> but it's a, it's a joke but a truth as well because um yeah that, that's the, the the gist there Matt's just gone to but it, it needs to be able to you know capture different accents and if it can if the tool can't do that then the tool becomes half if it can only capture the voices of half the people on the call yeah. um then then it suddenly becomes much less useful doesn't it 100 percent. i think the, the the whole audio recording um has become so much better because I remember remember the early days of things like using drag and dictation such like it, yeah. it, it you know most of the words would be wrong but the the whole AI transcript of things has, has certainly improved things massively.